Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Art and welcome back to a Slate Movie Review. <clears throat> right now, I just finished watching Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I always wanted to watch this movie. And the reason why I always wanted to watch it is because I used to play Dungeons & Dragons in high school, college, and early on in my career, early 2000s. <clears throat> Me and a bunch of people used to get together every week to do an adventure. A role-playing game is basically a bunch of people together with pencil and paper and some dice with a crafted story, either pre-made or we create our own. And we're like acting out our part. And that's what I used to do every week. <coughs> Early 2000s, they made a Dungeons and Dragons. Well, let's put it this way. In the 80s, there was a Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, which I used to watch every Sunday. There was like a 13 episode or 12 episode, which they made figures of, which I didn't buy because I didn't feel like it. Early 2000s. Those are the Dungeons and Dragons movies, and that was kind of <clears throat> <clears throat> didn't really like it, but it was kind of cool to have a Dungeons and Dragons movie. Okay, that's the best way I could put it. And now, almost twenty years, about twenty some years later, this movie comes out, starring Chris Pine. Uh, Michelle Rodriguez and some other people which I can't remember offhand <clears throat> and it's kind of it's kind of funny because watching this feels like a story that I've we've done millions of times if you played Dungeons and Dragons before this if you watch this movie it seems like a similar story to what you played before many many million times before in some way shape or form <clears throat> Sorry, my sinuses are killing me and my voice is kind of shot trying to do this. Now, what happened is I don't have Amazon Prime, but I'm able to, but since I have an Amazon account, I do, I am able to rent this. And I rented this, I, you know, once you, if you rent it, you get it for 24 hours. Oh, sorry, not 24, 48 hours. And I got 15 more, I mean, for like Five was it three ninety nine was it four ninety nine almost like five bucks. I was able to watch this in main time was on one for two days and once was cool. I don't want I don't need to watch it again, but that's fine as well. <clears throat> Story starts off. Uh, if hopefully you've seen it, but if you haven't, let's just put it this way: a thief stole something, got caught for the right reasons. But the motivations was off. If you haven't watched it, I don't really want to say too much about the movie. But quick synopsis: Chris Pine's a thief. He still he wants to steal an artifact to bring his dead wife back. Gets caught, goes to jail for two years, breaks out, tries to rescue his daughter. <clears throat> the guy who they a person that he trusted betrayed him, becomes a ruler of a kingdom, and they actually use the actual names of actual D&D places, which is cool. One was a Greyhawk, was it Greyhawk? Evendale? Evan? Ever? Shit. Dang. I keep wanting to say Icewind Dale or something like that. can't remember the names of it. But it is what it is. <clears throat> Now the thing is the new the new game of Dungeons and Dragons just came out recently and they're pushing more online things where you could play online instead of actual play people play some best a totally different story. <laughs> but the thing is it's kind of cool. In order to save his daughter, he has a assemble a group of guy group of people with different abilities, different spells, and all sorts of stuff. 
go on an adventure to grab an item just to call back and defeat the bad guy. And that's the best way I can explain it, but it's a very, very... I liked it a lot. It didn't do very well in theaters, but, I mean, think about it. Movies, they cost way too much these days anyway. But, you know how it is. But, this is, in my opinion, this is a very good movie. A good, you know, Saturday, Sunday popcorn watching movie. <clears throat> Maybe one day I will buy it. Don't know yet, but it is what it is. And that is my view of Dungeons & Dragons Online Thieves. Hopefully I'll talk to you soon.